Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and in today's video, we are going to look at free update 1.11 that is dropping for everyone next to the paid Twilight pack that is dropping on the 18th of October. If you are looking for an overview video of everything that is in the Twilight pack, then I highly recommend you to check out the other video that went live next to this one on the channel because in this video we will only be covering everything that is new with free update 1.11. Now one quick note before we jump into it, I just came back from my really nice vacation to Curacao so unfortunately I only had less than a day to prepare these overview videos for you guys so I might be missing out on some things or are not able to really go that much in that with all topics but I will do my best as always to share as much information as I can but yeah today's videos may also not be that well edited due to some time issues as you can imagine so I really do hope you guys can forgive me for that and of course if you're interested in seeing some more pictures and videos of my lovely holiday and the amazing sea turtle experience that I had in Curacao, then make sure to follow me on Instagram or with a link in the description. So now, without further talking, let's go over all things coming to you with free update 1.11 in our African mini zoo, which is my most favorite zoo that we are building so far. And looking at you guys and your comments, I think you guys agree with me. So yeah, let's use this zoo to show you guys as much as we can from free update 1.11. So the first thing we are going to look at is the educator exhibit demonstration in a reptile house, but this one is clearly not made <laughs> to have like these uh, animal talking points <laughs> inside of here. This is going to be very messy. Uh, but this is the giant tiger snail, and uh, if I'm correct, well, it's supposed to uh, get the giant tiger snail in her hands, and then she's going to do her talk about the animal. So let's just wait and see, because this one is going to start in March, and then the next one is going to be right over here with the... Uh, giant Malaysian leaf insect. For me, it's also the first time I'm going to see this, so uh, I'm just very curious how this is going to work out. Ah, okay, I'm curious how she is going to get... Wait, wait. Oh, oh, is she going to get it? Oh, that's... The... <laughs> I was just curious, like, how? How is she going to get them? <laughs> She's just... <laughs> It looked like it was just coming out of her pocket or something like that. But this is funny. This is funny. She's actually holding the giant tiger snail in her hands like this. And going to show it. I like this. This is a really cute addition. Oh, and there it goes again. Okay. So this was, I guess, the demonstration with the uh, giant tiger snail. So, uh... It's just a fun little uh, addition, I guess, to the animal talking points, but it's not like super special. I think as soon as you have seen it once, uh, you're like, oh yeah, that's all right. But it, but it's a fun little uh, little addition. I, I like it that they added this into the game. So let's see how it will go if she will hold the uh, giant leaf insect a little bit differently because I think there are three different versions of it. I, I'm honestly not sure which one is that they are going to get like the animal on their shoulders um so yeah i'm not really sure if i'm able to show you guys that animation but let's just wait and see how this will go okay so right now we're going to see the giant leaf insect which is right in here so i'm assuming she's also going to get that one <laughs> for pocket oh it's on her shoulder this one is actually... Oh, look at that! Oh, I, I don't know. I actually probably like this a little bit more than just in your hands. It's funny. It is actually really funny. Is it like moving on her shoulder? Look at that. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, and there it goes already. Oh, it's it's really short that they are going to show the uh, the animals. But it's a real, yeah, I, I think it's fun. I think, I think something like this is just a really nice extra thing to add for the animal talking points for the exhibits. It's not super spectacular, 
but I like it. I do like it. I'm curious how you guys feel about that. Do let me know in the comments down below. Uh, so the next thing that is new is that you can now have customizable exhibit backdrops. If you have seen my earlier video about the announcement, I already mentioned like I think it's not going to be anything else than just being able to add like billboards on the sides. And that is basically it. So you can have these billboards that Frontier added, like, like just some standard ones. Or you can add your own billboards. So like obviously this is a penguin, but you can, uh, you can now customize them yourself. But honestly, I don't really think I'm going to use that. I will just be using uh, the, the 3D ones. These are my favorites. But obviously, if you want to, you can now change it yourself to whatever you want to. But I don't think it's really that much different than adding like a billboard onto the side. So it's just integrated. So it's making things a little bit easier, I guess. Now, one other very useful feature actually is the fact that you can now have some management here with your exhibits. So right over here at the end, you now have the management tab. So you can now like select the management population then choose the population limit, how many males you want to have, how many females you want to have. And then you can say like, what do you want to do with the rest of these animals? Do you want to store them in a trading center, sell them for cash right away or release them into the wild? You can have exemptions. So if you have, for example, like an albino reptile or, or bug or whatever, and you're like, I, I don't want you to sell that specific animal, then you can select them right over here. And then the system or the management tab will know that you do not want to sell those, but the others can, uh, can be sold or whatever you selected right over here for processing. And right over here, you can select, select like the priority on age, appeal, cash, conservation credits, or like highest or lowest first. So I, I do really like this feature. I think this is going to be super useful if you have more exhibits in your zoo and you don't want to like check the exhibits all the time for babies. Like we are doing a lot in our African mini zoo series. Uh, so this is going to make life a lot easier. So yeah, we're definitely uh, going to dive a little bit more into this when we are going back into our African uh, mini zoo franchise series. So uh, do stay tuned for that. So we can like do set this up for all the exhibits that we have in the zoo. And then one more other feature is that you now have the new camera improvements for the animals. So when I now select this giant leaf insect and go to this camera feature, it actually makes things a lot easier to find the exhibit animals so i i do really like this feature <laughs> you know especially when doing these overview videos i'm being like oh yeah how, how do i want to get my mouse i don't know it just always was like hard to find it with the the mouse and the keyboard controls so this is definitely making things a lot easier to find the specific animals and that uh, man these guys just look so awesome so yeah Exhibit camera improvements coming to you as well with the free update 1.11. So then the next thing, which is a very useful new feature from the free update 1.11 is this ramp tool. Like this ramp tool is going to make things a lot easier for you to make like just some, some nice slopes to have some paths on without like using, I'm, I'm always using like these tools and then smooth it and stuff like this is going to make things a lot easier. You can change the settings right over here. So you can change the length, you can change the width, obviously, and even change the slope. So now you have like a very steep slope. And if you use this, then it's going to be a lot smoother going to uh, 10 degrees. Uh, so this is definitely making things a lot easier. And what well, you can also have up ramps, of course. So it's not like entirely super smooth. Like if I would place this down, there is still like this, this wobbly thing, but this is just a matter of like using the smoothness tool a little bit more and then you're good to go to make like path over here. And yeah, I think this is definitely a very, very nice feature, which I'm probably going to use a lot more in the future. 
Now, one thing that also has been added with free update 1.11 is piebaldism. And piebaldism describes a pattern of unpigmented spots across an animal's skin or coat, resulting in some really unique looking variants. This rare genetic expression is added as a new color morph to some species of Planet Zoo. As of update 1.11, you'll be able to discover and enjoy this new look on your Niyala pronghorn antelope and on your springbok and uh, i'm going to add to that that i hope that this will be added to more animals very soon in the future as well now uh, as you can tell like for those that are following this series already we had some nialas in here and uh, i've been uh, trying i don't know if they're still in here <laughs> i've been trying this is a sandbox you guys so don't worry this is not going to change anything over from jai zoo uh, but I've been trying to find any animals with this uh, piebaldism. But as you can tell, I failed in that. And uh, as far as I can tell, but I'm not entirely sure on that, uh, you should be able to see it right over here. It should tell you, I think, that this animal has piebaldism. But the forum post also says that this is a very rare genetic so yeah, I was just not able to find any examples uh, with <laughs> buying and buying and buying so many animals in here. Uh, so yeah, I failed on that, but just so you know, this is in the game, but I just wasn't able. Also with the, the time that I had, I just was not able to, uh, to, to get any animals with some piebaldism, which is unfortunate. But I do hope that maybe in a franchise zoo with the Nialas at least, we are able to find some and uh, yeah, see how that is going to look into the game. And um, yeah, all right, let's go to the next topic because as you can tell right over here, there are boxes, boxes moving. And I was actually like, yes, okay, I'm going to use my mini zoo because if you have been following this series, we have a lot of lemurs escaping. Now, as you can tell, I was on a vacation, so I did read all your comments <laughs> about, like, it probably is the box right over here. So I need to reset this box. That is making sure that, uh, like, the, the animation that happens with this box is making sure that these animals <laughs> are basically escaping. Like, probably in every episode, I may have cut it out sometimes, but... In, in almost every episode, we had some lemurs escaping, and at first I really had no idea, but now that I read all your comments, you were all like, oh yeah, it's the box and the animation that makes them go out of the fences, and then they will escape. So yeah, I thought, you know what, let's go to the zoo, and uh, so, so we can see the new animal behaviors with escapes. But I actually realized that we have some more naughty escaping animals <laughs> right over here. So uh, I, I'm not really sure, but I feel like Frontier did change anything with the traversable area as well. Because right now, this rock has always been there. We did not have any bongos escaping. <laughs> so from naughty warthogs, we now also move to naughty bongos. Naughty, derpy bongo faces. Guys, this is the ultimate cute animal now, which is a naughty, <laughs> derpy bongo face. Uh, so yeah, okay, enough talking. Let's just show you guys. Um, I just want to show you guys real quick because it was really funny. To see a bungo they, they're now able to jump up here and then they jump over <laughs> this wall <laughs> and uh i actually i find that very funny but that's not the escape then the new well maybe it is part of the new animal escaping behaviors as i said like it, it was not the case earlier that they were able to to reach this like this poor bungo is now not able to to <laughs> reach the other side anymore or just uh, go back. But I just want to remove a few of the fences and just see what is going to happen when we do that. And hopefully we are able to see a, a naughty <laughs> derpy bongo face escape right over here. So let me just skip some time here. Okay, so we have two bongos right over there. Uh, <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, that went way too fast. <laughs> uh, just don't look at this animation because that looks a little bit odd. Yes, okay, this. <laughs> <laughs> but they are this is I'm actually a little bit glitching but the first time that I saw this they were really smoothly jumping over the wall but I guess it really depends where they start jumping or something like that but this is just a really funny thing I, I feel like they changed something with traversable areas or anything with the animals uh, but now like for example if we just open the gates right over here and we could probably do the same right over here so we can just try to see if we can get some animals to escape and see what they're gonna do well i did try several things with several animals i even released some lions in here lemurs are now not escaping now i want them to escape but I have not seen any specific escaping animations other than just walking around. But there, yeah, there should be like animals knocking over bins and stuff. I heard that Rudy Rankemel had like a Javalski's horse uh, knocking over a bin and he had some cool animations with jaguars. So they are definitely in here, but yeah, time is not on my side right now. Uh, so I just don't have much more time to uh, try and figure this all out. But just so you know, there are some new animations in here with escaping animals and hopefully we are going to uh, see some of those with our franchise mode series. So then let's move over to the free stuff that you are getting with free update 1.11. These humongous trees are called California Redwood Tree. You are getting these with the free update as well. Then we have the silky oak trees, also a very beautiful set here of trees. There are some new vines right over here and a very tiny little candle as well for the free update. Uh, so these beautiful vines are also added in the free update and I think they look absolutely fantastic. Really do like these ones. And uh, then, well, this is of course a very spectacular <laughs> or at least something I do really like. Uh, but this is like just a uh, small ball pumpkin with a little uh, uh, jack-o'-lantern face. And uh, yes, okay, this one is obviously a part that is also been used for the exhibit. So this is a walkthrough exhibit PVC strip curtain. And the cool thing about these guys is if I use this one where guests are walking, let's just go right over here and pause real quick. It actually moves and I find that just fantastic. Also, when animals go through here, uh, I did not test that myself, but I heard that from uh, Eben and Rudy, uh, then the animals are able to escape. So yes, just keep that in mind. This is not working as a natural barrier the animals that are as smart are still able to escape as far as i've heard so the last thing we will cover is this big walkthrough exhibit so with the free update 1.11 you will get this bigger exhibit but you will not get the bats that are included in the twilight pack but yeah frontier is giving you a chance to at least make sure that you are able to play around a little bit with this bigger exhibit. However, there is not that much to do with it other than just plop this down and probably use this as like an implied habitat or something like that. But I'm sure that there are some really creative people out there that find some really cool functions for this bigger exhibit without having any animals to use it for. You can customize the, the edges here so you can have like a no fence, you can have a chain link fence, you can have glass fences, whatever you prefer to have. And then you can also change the floor to a solid floor or none. And you can have the door being gone or not. So you can basically have this no fenced exhibit and yeah, just, just play around a little bit with that. However, what I do really like about these bigger exhibits is that, for example, if Frontier is going to add butterflies or something, then you can really create like this big 
butterfly dome with like no fences all around but have this all connected i think they will be a perfect use for that but yeah other than that for the free update itself i don't really think that this bigger exhibit is going to be that useful it might also be just a little bit of an uh, advertisement way to promote the twilight pack and to show like hey if you get the twilight pack you can also actually add an animal in this bigger exhibit there are also some rumors that we maybe get an animal with the anniversary update, which should be in November. So who knows, maybe Frontier is not kind to also add a different animal into the base game, which will be able to use this bigger exhibit. But so far, we actually don't know if that is going to happen. So uh, I'm not going to get my hopes up too high. But just so you know, it might be that there is going to be a free animal with the anniversary update that is going to be using this bigger exhibit. Other than that, I'm just really curious to hear you guys what you're going to do with that. If you are not going to get the Twilight Pack, do let me know in the comments down below and what your thoughts are of this bigger exhibit that is going to be added into the game. So yeah, this was everything as far as I can tell from free update 1.11. Do let me know in the comments down below what you are mostly excited of. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check out my Twilight Pack overview as well on the channel that will be live right with this video as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye guys!